Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, a rates of change calculus question as requested by a student. A pump is inflating a spherical balloon. The radius of the balloon is increasing at a rate of 1 cm per second when the length of the radius is 2 meters. Part 1. Find the rate at which the pump is working, i.e. the rate of change of the volume. 2. If the air continues to be pumped at this rate, find the rate of change of the radius when it is 5 meters in length. Part 3. At what rate is the surface area of the balloon increasing when R is 5 metres? OK, so follows on from the other rates of change we did. So I'll, I'll repeat some of the important stuff here just so you can see, I suppose, the links between the two questions. So the first bit, the radius of the balloon is increasing at a rate of 1 centimetre per second. OK, so like I said in the last one, when you see something is increasing, OK, it means that it is with respect to time, okay? So what is increasing? It's the radius. So it's the rate of change of the radius over time, okay? And when it doesn't say with what it's changing with respect to, it is with time, okay? The other place you'll see that is here in the units, okay? It's one centimeters per second. So that is the unit for your radius and this is the unit for time okay so the rate of change of the radius is increasing at a rate of one centimeter per second when um, radius is two meters okay now the second thing you always always keep an eye out for and you train yourself to look at is is units I see centimetres, I see metres. So straight away, that gets changed to a centimetre, OK? It's much easier to change two metres to centimetres than it is to mess around with rates of change with respect to time. OK, so two th 200 centimetres. So that's our first line. Part one then said, find the rate at which the pump is working. So find the rate of change of volume, OK? So rate of change of volume is the rate of change of volume with respect to time. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Right, so like we did in the last one, you can take the rate of change of volume and you can break it up into, into parts, okay? So this is how I always set it up. The dv is on the top, the dt is on the bottom, they're multiplied by each other. And then whatever unit or whatever variable I put here, I'm going to also put here. These are going to match, okay, so that I can cancel them and I'm left with dv dt, okay. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's have a look at volume, okay, because this is a dv. It's the rate of change of volume on the top. So go to your log tables, um, to your volume page. It is page what? Page 10 and your sphere, okay, it's a spherical shape. So your volume is 4 over 3 pi r cubed, okay? So V is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. That is the rate of change. No, sorry, that is the volume of sphere. Okay, if we look at what affects or what controls the volume of a sphere, you'll see it is solely dependent on, on radius. Think about that. Think about a ball. If the radius gets bigger, the volume gets bigger. If the radius gets smaller, the volume gets smaller. So the volume is totally dependent on the radius of the sphere. Okay, 4 over 3 is a constant, pi is a constant. So the only thing you can differentiate the rate of change of volume to, or the volume equation to, is with respect to the radius. The, the rate of change of volume with respect to radius, okay? Because it must be a variable that you differentiate with respect to, and that is the only variable that's there. So what do we get for that? Well, take down the power, reduce the power by one. Uh, three on the top, three on the bottom, cancel. So you have four pi r squared is dv dr. Okay, but more importantly, I have found 
what what I'm going to put here. Okay, so this is going to be a Dior. And like I said, it has to match up here. Because in theory, I cancel them too. And you can see then I'm left with DVDT, which is what I was doing. So I've just broken up um, the rate of change of volume into, well, what does radius, how does radius vary with respect to time? And then how did this rate of change of radius affect my volume? So I've just literally split it into two parts, the radius changing, which of course affects the volume. Okay, so let's have a look now at where we are. We have DRDT, do you see it up here? So I know that's one centimeter per second. Um, DVDR, I have it here. Okay, so let's let's fill that in. So DVDT is DVDR, which is four pi r squared. And I'm multiplying that by one, which is the rate of change of the radius of the balloon. Um, when the length is two meters or 200 centimeters, so let's fill him in. So it's four pi 200 squared by one. Let's put him into the calculator. So four by 200 squared is one six zero 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 pi. And then let's think about units for this particular one. Well, it's the rate of change of volume and I, I'm working in centimeters, so it must be centimeters cubed. And then it's with respect to time. So it's per our unit of time is seconds. OK, so that's part one there. Part two. I'm going to copy the question. Let's put around. Let's try that again. Okay. Part two. If the air continues to be pumped at this rate, find the rate of change of the radius. So the rate of change of the radius, okay? So rate of change of radius is the dr, and it must be with respect to time. So find the rate of change of the radius when it comes to five meters in length. OK, so if the air continues to be pumped at this rate, so the rate at which the pump is working, which is the rate of change of volume, if that continues at that speed, what is the rate of change of the radius? OK, so what they're telling me is if dv dt stays the same, What will this be if we change the radius to 5? That is more or less what that question is saying. So what was the rate of change of volume? It was 160,000 pi and it was equal to um, 4 pi r squared by dr dt. OK, so what have I done there? If if the air continues to be pumped at this rate, well, that's the rate there. That's the rate at which the pump is working. Um, that's my dr dt that I found. And of course, this is the rate of change of volume with respect to radius. So my radius has now changed to five meters. So five meters is obviously equal to 500 centimeters. So 160,000 pi is equal to 4 pi 500 squared by dr dt. I want to divide across by this so that I get 160,000 pi over 4 pi by 500 squared being equal to dr dt. Okay, let me put that into a calculator. So 160, 000, 0, 0 pi and of course the pies cancel, so you don't even really need to put them into your calculator. Four by 500 squared by pi. I got four over 25.
4 over 25 or if you prefer as a decimal 0 0.16 okay let's have a look at the units here it's the rate of change of radius which we were measuring in centimeters with respect to time again so per second so that is the rate of change of the radius when it's five meters per length okay Try and paste that question again. The third part. At what rate is the surface area of the balloon increasing when R is 5 metres? Okay, so surface area of a sphere is also in that same page in the data sheet. Up here, A represent curved surface area. So 4 pi R squared. At what rate is the surface area increasing? Okay, so the question wants to know what is the rate of change of area with respect to time? At what rate is the surface area of the balloon increasing? Okay, so again, can we break him up into DA? dt. So let's have a look up here. I'm just going to take away the s in surface area so nobody gets confused. What can I differentiate this formula with respect to? Well obviously the surface area is totally dependent on the radius as well. It's the only thing I can differentiate it with respect to. So it's 4 pi, take down the 2 or to the power of 1. So it's 8 pi r. Okay, so therefore it makes sense then that my R goes in here because I have DA, DR here. Okay, at what rate is the surface area of the balloon increasing when R is 5 metres? Okay, so let's have a look what we at. We need DA, DT. So somewhere in the questions we must have information about the other two parts. Well, DA, DR, we're just found 8 pi R. Now, the rate of change of radius with respect to time when R is 5. Okay, so go back in your question and find out what information do you have about this circle when the radius is 5 and we were here. So, if the air continues to be pumped, find the rate of change of the radius when it's 5. Okay, so dr dt is the answer we got in the previous part. Okay, um, it's the rate of change of that radius when it's 5 and we got 0 0.16 centimeters per second so let's put that into the calculator so 8 by pi now remember um, r is 5 meters again so it's 500 centimeters okay so 8 by pi by 500 by 0 0.16 and I am getting 640 pi for this and my units well area is going to be centimeters squared and time is per second okay and it's per second and it will be that when it's on the bottom if you've enjoyed this video then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice. In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.